What's up? This is Odolena from Odolena Digital and today I'm shooting a video on more technical topic. I know some of you have been missing my Google Ads videos. So today I'm going to talk about one very underutilized feature of Google Ads, which is drafts and experiments. What drafts and experiments allows you is to actually create a clone of your existing campaign and compare it to an experiment, basically to run this clone as an experiment to the original campaign. Uh, you can change, let's say, the bidding strategy, you can maybe add some different ads, uh, ad copy, maybe you can try a different ad type, for example, you can test responsive search ads versus standard ads or like responsive search ads and standard ads versus only standard ads. So you can run this kind of experiments within the platform. I think a lot of people have been underutilizing this because they don't really know the full value and also the full idea behind how to make sure that your experiment works. So in this video, I'm going to show you through, I'm going to walk you through the platform, how to set up an experiment, what are the best practices, and I also mention what are some of the pitfalls. Not every campaign type is available for drafts and experiments at the moment. In Google, you can use this on search or on display campaigns. Uh, you cannot use this on shopping or video campaigns. This you, you have to use kind of some kind of third party uh, tool or something else, or you can just run two individual campaigns next to each other and compare the results. But with uh, an experiment, what is good is that you just create it with one click, like basically it copies your campaign and you can just change one thing and then you have a really nice report between the experiment and uh, your actual campaign and you see the differences in results. Another very important thing is from the beginning to decide what you're going to test. Test only one feature at a time. If you test too many things, then it's very difficult to understand what was actually the result and which of the features that you changed in the draft actually ended up making it better or worse. So only change, let's say, an ad copy or only change bid strategy and test for this. And then you can test for another variable with the next experiment. Also make sure, especially if you're testing bidding strategies, make sure that you're testing more than three campaigns, let's say three to five campaigns at the same time with their drafts so that you have more volume and more understanding because let's say one test only may be just a fluke. So it's good to have also good conversion volume because with drafts and experiments, what happens is essentially Google Ads is splitting the traffic between your draft and the experiment. So you will have to have enough conversions in order for your experiment to work out, especially with bidding strategies, make sure that you also have a learning period during the experiment. So if you set up, let's say a target CPA and the original is manual, the target CPA campaign will take about a couple of weeks to learn. So you have to make sure that you run the experiment long enough for you to have enough data. We recommend around four weeks or more for an experiment, depending on how long it takes and how much conversions you have uh, for the campaign to learn. Make sure that all the products of Google that use machine learning use some time to learn. So responsive search ads, dynamic search ads, smart bidding, all these features need some time to ramp up. Some of them ramp up very fast, like maximize conversions. However, some others need a little bit longer time, especially if you have a specific goal uh, for cost per acquisition, like target CPA. If you have a specific goal for return on ad spend with target ROAS. So I'm going to show you actually in the interface how this looks like. So hopefully it makes more sense. Okay, so we are now in the Google Ads interface. I'm going to follow this with my laptop and I'm going to show you from one of my test accounts how to create and set up drafts and experiments. So here you have your campaigns. You just scroll down and you go to, hold on, you go to drafts and experiments. It's a little bit down in the menu now, they've launched so many new tabs. So here you have your campaign drafts. In order to create a new draft, basically what this means is you are going to clone an existing campaign. 
in order to make an experiment let's say you select a campaign here I'm selecting just one campaign you can draft the name you can give it a name let's say a test test 2 save it and here you go but this is not an experiment yet this is basically a draft what this means is that here you can make the changes you want to test compared to your original campaign so what you can do is you can go in your test here you have the keywords the strategy here is one of the, the actually the ad groups so you can go on the campaign level and for example I want to change the settings so here I want I have maximized conversion in my original campaign I want to change this to another bidding strategy so here I can select for example all right I'm gonna select target CPA and I set up a CPA of two pounds I save this and I have my draft now with one change as I said it's important that you test only one change at a time so that otherwise your experiment is not going to have statistical value because you have too many changes you don't know actually what was the one that brought the difference then you go to another tab so here you have your campaigns your drafts and experiments and here you can start a new experiment so here you click the plus button let's say you name your experiment maximize conversions versus target CPA okay you can write a small description you can select the start date so you can schedule this to start let's say next week doesn't have to be now because I'm going on holiday I don't want my experiment to start now then you can select the split so the split uh, we recommend you to have 50% split so that you have even amount of traffic to the experiment and to the original campaign and here check the advanced options so here you have two options you can split the test either by search based or cookie based so this is for search campaigns if you are running a display campaign experiment then you can only split by cookies uh, if you are running a search experiment uh, I would still recommend you to use the cookie based you uh, approach what this means is that users had say who uh, for example if you're using a, a, an example would be a campaign experiment where you're testing the ad copy so you want basically the test to happen on a user level so let's say I want only all the users who see the experiment to only see the experimental uh, ad copy they are not going to if they search again they're not going to experience the original campaign so this is going to keep the test very clean when it comes to results so this is specifically good if you are using this to prove the ad copy uh, let's say that you want to have specific ad copy and only a certain group of isolated users are going to see this ad copy uh, the search based option means that if let's say the same user searches twice they might actually see the experiment once and the original the second time or vice versa so I would recommend this option let's say if you have a bit of a lower search traffic so it's not likely that someone is searching again then you can use the search based approach but otherwise the cookie based is much better and you save and there you go you have your test set up so now you can decide actually how long it's gonna take for you to uh, complete the test but as I said no less than four weeks especially because I'm testing two different bidding strategies and after that I'm going to be able to see my test here my experiment uh, and I'm going to see a report so now you have set up your experiment what you can do now from time to time is to check how it performs and you will see there is a really nice report that you can check in the interface so here we go here we are in the interface of Google Ads we go to drafts and experiments we have the drafts here but here now we have campaign experiments and then we go to the experiment 
and here we see the time of the experiment, we need to schedule, the settings. Here I can click on the experiment itself, so kind of the way that I click on a campaign. Here I can see more details about what is the schedule, the settings, the basic setup. I can edit these settings here. And here what I have is actually this, this will be a report. So once the experiment starts, it will populate conversions, clicks, costs. And here I can select also what I want to see. This is again bringing us to the initial point, deciding on what is the success metric. Then I can see the experiment here. What's the, what's the result? This is actually the experiment. You have this little tube that looks like an experiment tube. This is showing you your experiment. And if I decide that my campaign and my experiment actually is, is working very well, I can just simply click apply. So here what I can do is I can change my original campaign so I can update everything and override the original campaign with the changes of the experiment. Or here I can convert it to a new experiment. So I can simply pause the previous campaign and just let the experiment, the new, uh, the new campaign that's created out of the experiment to run on its own. So I can select this and yeah, just with a few clicks, you're ready to go with your experiment. What's important here is to measure these results and to check the information. Let's say at least give it four weeks. And make sure, especially if you're changing the conversion strategy, let's say the bidding strategy, give it some time to learn. Smart bidding strategies, as well as responsive search ads and other machine learning tools from Google need some time to ramp up. So let the first couple of weeks run and then start evaluating the performance after the campaign has ramped up. So then you compare how the experiment is doing versus the original. Make sure you also take out the conversion delay because in the last days of the, just before you take the results, exclude, let's say the days before you, you are running the test, let's say the last couple of days, because you might have more conversions being reported. So it always might look like the last few days, the campaigns or the experiment wasn't performing that well. So once you have excluded the conversion delay period, the learning period, and you have this timeline when the experiment and the campaign were working next to each other, uninterrupted, unconstrained, then you can actually compare apples to apples and really understand which one works better. Also make sure that seasonality can play a key role when it comes to running experiments. So select some kind of time of the year when it's, let's say, not the Christmas season and you're expecting a lot of sales or it's the mid of the summer where you don't have that many sales. So make sure that you think about that as well. Thanks a lot uh, for joining today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, like it, share it. Welcome to the 48 new subscribers this week. Please explore the rest of the videos here. Thank you so much for those of you supporting me so far. And yeah, I'll be back with a new video next week.